Well, it is not every day that we get to talk to someone who had a front row seat on our show, The Front Row, to the wild happenings over decades of college basketball. Tonight, we do just that. A great guy and a great referee, former Big Ten basketball rep Phil Bova. Welcome to The Front Row. And Phil has written a brand new book, Throwing Back the Chair, which he wrote with Nino Frostino. Congratulations. Thank you, Jim. Now, we got to get right to it. Let's not bury the lead. You were part of the officiating crew. The night Bobby Knight flung the chair, Indiana against Purdue. What was it like? February 23rd, <laughs> 1985. 17,000 people nationally televised. Hour and a half before the ball game, referees are sitting down going over everything. We're going to do this, we're going to do that, we're going to do that. Five minutes into the ball game, here comes a chair. Wow. Like, are you serious? So immediately, all three of us rang them up as a technical foul. And then, uh, then it hit the fan, as they say. And yeah. it, it seemed like hours to get him to, 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 to get the calmness back to the way it was supposed to be. But because, I mean, he was a god and maybe, maybe still is in Indiana. Right. Phil, it's important now, he did not throw the, the chair at you no, or didn't. your other he, official, right? Fortunately, the chair was thrown across the floor and stopped about five feet from the people in the, ha the handicap section. So yeah. lucky of Coach uh, Coach Knight didn't Knight get involved did not in anything get it, like that. Have yeah. that happen for him. All right, so uh, how did you become a referee? Yep. A tough way to make a living. Well, I'm going to tell you. Cleveland Browns, first chapter of the book really? of throwing back the chair. I was a young teacher. I was uh, at a basketball game in uh, Middleburg Heights. I go with a buddy of mine who's a teacher, and they're playing the Cleveland Browns, Jim. Oh, I mean, like, yeah, when the Browns used exactly. to play those games. Paul Warfield, Walt, Walter Johnson. <laughs> Place was packed. They're making money. It's, it's, out, it's, it's fabulous. So, sure enough, the guy that started the game had a bad back, went up and down the floor two times. He gives it one of those in the back there. They stop the game. Now they, the, the, they help him out, and now the gentleman that worked with him comes over to, to the stands and says, is there anybody here that could referee? And not a soul raised their hands but Phil Bova. Wow. And I said, I don't know that I can, but we'll try. <laughs> all right, real quickly, sure. all right, run them down for me. Uh, favorite coaches that you got to involve with? Uh, I like uh, the Big Ten. I, I was very fortunate, I, I have to say, uh, to Bob Knight. You know, to Bobby really? Knight. Oh, yeah. I would have my grandchildren play for Knight because I loved his passion. Well, there was that. And, uh, if you knew going in that he was going to be the way he was, and I accepted it, and, and I, if he respected me, I respected him. Favorite, Gene Cady, yeah, Tom Ezio, Tom Ezio. Favorite, favorite places that you refereed? Oh, the Palestra out in Philadelphia by far. Madison Square Garden. Uh, I would say Purdue and certainly Indiana. And I love Ohio State. I love the Schottenstein. Would you recommend people getting involved in officiating? It's, uh, it's a great question. Today, Jim, it's more difficult than ever before because at every level, Football, basketball, baseball, yes, there's yeah. a decrease in officials, and it's a lot of it's the abuse, and it starts early, fifth and sixth grade, and you have to have a commitment from your family, you have to have a commitment from your job, so, because when it's all said and done, you're going to have to go back there. You know these are going to be great stories, okay? Throwing back the chair, Phil Bova wrote with Nino Frostino. They have a book signing coming up Thursday, October 10th. That's going to be over in Lakewood, right at the east end of Birdtown on Madison Ave yes, in sir. Lakewood. Phil, great, great seeing you, you, buddy. Jimmy. Thank you. Continue your success. Oh, thank